Welcome back to the Mega Man Like miniseries. Today we're going to go over falling deaths. And we're going to just show a couple ways to do this. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so while I'm in the scenes here, I'm going to make a little falling ledge. So this will be the area that we fall down. And then we're just going to do a simple reset to show that we died. All right, so there is a couple ways to go about this. The, the first thing is, is we can go into our tiles here. And we can do this with area detection. And so we're already using number two because we're using it in our ladders. So we can't use uh, the second area detection. Matter of fact, I'm going to make this red so that I know that I can't use this. We're already using it. But we can use area detection three. So we're going to overlap it with the player. And then we're going to go to scenes here. And we're going to go down to our area detection, grab three. And we're just going to make it uh, just be the bottom here. So the first method we're going to show is how to do this with, with area detection. All right, we're going to also work through this. This isn't going to be exactly what we want, but we're going to start with this because right now our scene is a one high scene. So this is really all that we have to work with. But the one thing that we do need is that our player character will actually stop on this the end of this red border. So we do need to uh, increase the player accessibility I'm just going to say by 250, that gives it more than enough room. But we're going to keep the camera accessibility the same. This is what the camera can see. This is where the player can go in the scene. All right. So now that we have that uh, set up properly, so the player can fall through this area, we'll hit OK here. We'll go to Objects. And we're going to go to our player. And we're going to go to Common Action. We're going to do this through a common action. It's going to be very simple. The detection in is going to be if the variable of this object's area detection equals three. I'm going to hit OK. We're going to make this a high priority link. So I'm going to uh, put one. I think hit is, nope, hit's not one. OK. And then we're also going to move this up to the top. So if you haven't moved this, if you're having trouble moving this, you can't click on this and move it. Or, or one of these, you have to click right underneath it and you got to get it to highlight green. Then you can actually move it up. This is also how you can copy paste. So you can't just click this and copy paste it. You have to click highlight it with this green color here. All right, so now that we have that, let's name this, we're going to say death from fall. And just very simply, we're going to give it no motion. And then we're going to uh, change if any condition is met, that we're gonna lock it out basically. So we're gonna say, hey, if any condition is met, then you go, but we're gonna give it no condition. All right, and that should be really all that we need uh, for this. Now we can just position it. I'll just put it right above the hit here. All right, now this should work if we uh, play test here. Let me uh, turn off the sound from the last video here. Okay. So now when we fall, we can see that it disappeared. So we went into the common action. That's great. But it, it went too early. Now, the, the one thing is, is that we're kind of limited right now because of the scene size. We can't uh, put tiles where there's no scene. So what we actually have to do is go to scene settings we just increase the scene by one, but we don't change anything. So that means that the camera is still only accessible right here and the player still has its little bit of more area right here. So then when we click okay, now we can place these tiles down here and we can just remove it or move it down just by one tile and I think it will look a lot better. So then we can fall and then there we go. So we know that it worked before because it was disappearing, but now let's just add a, a quick reset. And this is a plugin that I, I have in pretty much every project. So add official plugin. So, or sorry, plugin tab, add official plugin, and then add the reset game plugin. All right. There's nothing that we need to do as far as setup goes, but uh, simply we'll go to our, our hit death or our, our death from the fall. And we're going to add a weight and we'll just do a, a, a quick wait of half a second. And then we will go to the plugins tab up here and we'll say reset game. And so now when we uh, fall, we died and we reset the game. Now this isn't generally how you would load a checkpoint. 
I have a video on loading checkpoint, but your checkpoint logic and your loader file would be right here. All right, so, and with that, uh, you can put these anywhere. The nice thing about area detection fall deaths like this is that it's very low performance. You don't need gimmick tiles. You don't need an object. Um, all you need is just these little tiles. And I would probably give a, a few rows of this just to make sure. And if you don't have wall detections going down, then I would definitely make sure that it's a little bit out here just in case. You, you never know. <laughs> so better safe than sorry. So after editing the video, I realized that we are using Area Detection 3 for the top portion of the ladder. And so simply what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read this out so I know that we can't use this anymore. I'm just going to click it off. And then we're going to go use 4. So we'll say Area Detection of 4. Do this with the player. And then we'll go into Objects here. And we'll just change this to Detecting if it's 4. And so that will simply be all that you would need to do. And then if you were using the Area Detection method, all you would do is then you change this to before like that or, or however you set it up. All right. So before we go on to the next method, I want to sh uh, tell you, explain why I don't particularly like this option, which is going off camera. All right. And so this is a very common option for like bullets, destroying bullets when they go off camera, um, starting an enemy. So when they come on the camera, then they can start their logic. But I don't like it for deaths because there are some situations where your player is not going to be on the scene. Maybe you'll have a cut scene where the camera pans off or something similar where it could trigger this going off the camera. Now, you could lock it out with saying if the switch isn't on or, or all this other stuff as well. But I generally just avoid this completely when it goes to the player death. Okay, so now with that said, we have this uh, air detection equals three. And so let's show another method that you could use. And this is one that I like to use for quite a bit of things. So I might have other videos showing other methods, but so what I like to do is I'll add an animation here and I'm going to grab the airy detection animation that we've been using. I think it's under just placeholder right here. And since I didn't partition it, I'll just partition it real quick. It is vertical of eight, I believe, and then horizontal of 15. And we're just going to call this uh, hazards for now. Okay, so let's zoom in. Uh, I like to center these ones. And then I'll just make it 8x8. Eight eight, get that center right there. Alright, so this is going to be for a fall. And we, we only need one of these. And it's important that you have an image with this. So that you can get an exact uh, thing. And it's also important that the image is the size of the tile. All right. So what we do here is we don't need collision detection. So we can delete this. We just need the wall detection. And we're going to change the opacity to zero. All right. So now all we're left is, is a wall detection. So now when we put this on the scene, we can scale this. And, the, and it's going to scale properly based on the tile detection. And since it's a tile detection, it's going to sit perfectly in our grid. And so it's going to look really nice as we're trying to place this. All right, then we're going to go to objects here. We're going to add an object. We're going to call this uh, hazard fall, we'll just say. And then we're going to give it that hazard detection. It can actually be a neutral or sorry, actually, it can be a um, Usually I create a group right here. Yes, usually I create a group right here. So I'm going to, I'll just click OK for now. I'll go to settings. I'll go to uh, character, or sorry, uh, group management here. And I'm going to call this hazards. And sometimes this can be also environmental stuff or environment or some, something like that. So hazard environment. All right, now we'll go back into object settings and name it accordingly. And then we're just going to say that it has wall detection with the player group and no wall detection with the tiles. So we have set this one up for this, but now we need to go real quickly back to the player and make sure that it has wall detections for these hazard environments. All right. 
And so now, uh, with that, we can go to the hazard here. The one thing that we want is we want we can remove any of this stuff. We do want it to be pushable, just so that if the player does move or does move it, it can push it out of the way real quick if it needs to. And we're going to say that it has a gravity of zero, so we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And this is real simply, we just say fall. And that's it. This object does nothing but just be on the scene with a wall detection. And we're giving it the fall motion. All right, so now we can go to scenes. We can get rid of our area detection here. And we can now place this object, fall. And we can grab it and stretch it. We could stretch this across the whole map if we wanted so that it could be any kind of fall situation that you would have. And the cool thing is, is that, let me just move it up here so that we can see that it expands that wall detection. So if I turn on the debugging wall detection, you can see that it expanded it appropriately. All right. So then what we'll do is we'll just set it down here. And now what we got to do is we go to object, go to player, we go to common action, where our common action was. Now we were detecting for an area detection of three. And now we're going to also add, if we're in contact, oh, whoops, not, not that, um, not a tile wall, <laughs> uh, a wall detection of other object. And the other object is going to be anything, we'll just set it specifically to the hazard fall. And so if we're touching the uh, top portion, actually, we'll just say all. If we're touching all of a hazard fall, then we will also die. And so I'm going to click or here because now we can use area detection or we can use this object. So now if we play test and I fall off and I die and I reset. So it can do the same thing. Now there's a lot of situations where this object is really nice versus the uh, area detection. And one reason, for instance, is that in this scene here, we no longer need a too high scene, we can literally have a one high scene. And this object can actually reside out of the scene. So we can just simply have this right here. And if you remember, our character detection, or sorry, our accessibility by the player can still go past the scene. So that's all that's needed. And then when we fall, we reset. So there's some uh, advantages to using an object like this. And if you think that you need more than one object, then you really don't. You can simply just drag this along the whole uh, base here, and that can be your fall. So that's one object for all of your fall. Now, if you have different levels of, of the game, and so, so different sections of the game where the player can fall, area detection might be better for that if you don't want to use, if it's too many objects or something like that. Anyway, I hope this video helped. Uh, show at least a couple ideas on how to do this. If you have any questions, comments, Steam forms, or to the Discord. And with that said, I'll see you at the next video.